One of the interests that uh, I have as an economist is to assess uh, how outcomes from the interventions that we pilot are shared within the household or within the society or within the sector. So uh, it is important then to consider gender issues when uh, assessing the outcomes of the interventions. And besides that, most of the donor agencies, our development partners, are keen to ensure that uh, we report on this. So um, from my disciplinary point of view, we largely uh, have competencies in terms of collection of quantitative data and applying uh, frameworks that are linked to economics. But now when we bring in gender dimensions, then this is a totally different ballgame. We need uh, expertise from gender scientists because the frameworks are different, uh, the approach is different, and uh, the types of data that's collected is quite different. So therefore we need uh, synergies, we need uh, input from the technical people, we need input from the gender scientists uh, in order to make sense of some of these uh, gender related qualitative data that comes, with, that comes from the field and also the types of frameworks uh, that are applied. Of course, this is not possible if you're working alone as an economist or you're sitting down somewhere working alone as a geneticist or an animal health uh, specialist. So some of the challenges uh, that uh, I experience as an economist is that if I sit down alone to try to make sense of the data, then the interpretation is definitely different. Uh, compared to if I had a gender scientist sitting with me and we tried to put on our gender lens and make sense uh, of the data.